that's the scene today in Porky Creef for the replay of the Munster football final and the huge crowd here there they are in most orderly fashion they're in here today wiping out the memories of the disaster here two weeks ago when we had absence of crowd control and a lot of indiscipline we're 40 and a half thousand two weeks ago and it looks to me as if there are a few thousand more here today Kerry on nearest the camera there number two you see him is Jero Keefe, the man just gone out of the picture in the yellow jersey, Paddy Mahoney. Number four, Jimmy Deanahan, Paul O'Shea behind him, and Tim Kennelly. Coming behind number seven, Ger Power, and eight is Pat, uh, Paddy Lynch, Pat McCarty then, and changed in the forwards, Dennis Moore, number ten there. Eleven, Mickey Sullivan playing centre-half forward. Twelve is Pat Spillane, John Egan, 13, 14, Mike Sheehy, the only forward in the same position he was the last day, and Bre John Egan, rather, 15 behind, Brendan Lynch is 30. Cork in an absolutely beautiful new red strip with the white stripes down their sleeves. Over on the right, the challengers carry the defending champions and, of course, the All-Ireland champions. Reverend Dr. Lucy, the Bishop of Cork, about to start this replay of the Munster football final. Beside him there on the left is Nicholas McCraw, the Both president of the Munster Council. On Andrew his right, Donald O'Sullivan, the Cork okay chairman. John Maloney in the All Black. And the replay is on. The seventh replay that there's been in a Munster football final. Dennis Allen for Cork. And straight away, Cork getting the free. Chair power in your picture there, but it's a free down to Cork. Cork playing into the goal on our left in an absolutely splendid new strip of red with the white stripes. You can see them down their sleeves. Dennis Long, the midfielder who plays his club football in Kerry, taking this free about 53 yards out. Dennis with the kick now. It's coming low. That's Sean Murphy, the sub who came in the last day. And he's the chain for this game, number 12, being fouled, and John Maloney gives the ball to Coleman O'Rourke, the right half forward, who's taking this short-range freeze. That's the angle Coleman O'Rourke has. A great chance to put Cork into the lead with the first score, and that's what he does after one minute. Coleman O'Rourke giving Cork the lead, the team, the challengers, who surprised everybody with their determined challenge the last day when they drew with Kerry at 10 points each. So now Paddy Mahoney to kick out. In the first replay we've had in a Munster football final since 1961. And then was these two teams and Kerry won that one. But this is Cork on the attack. Sean Murphy again. Back to Dave McCarthy, the absolutely brilliant star of the drawn game. Dave playing with it there. Back to Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly still in possession. Back to Dave McCarthy again. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Dean and clears it away from him. Comes to Pat McCarthy. And the last man signaling that's gone over the line. So a line ball to Cork. Dennis O'Driscoll, the left corner back with the kick. Jer Power breaks it down, but Coleman O'Rourke gains possession. Turning inside. And a great point for Coleman O'Rourke. Six yards out. So Coleman O'Rourke, the right half forward, who's now scored the first two points in this game, and that leaves Cork leading by those two points. Kerry still no score. Cardi for Kerry. Mickey Sullivan. It's cut off there by Brian Murphy, the fullback. He clears it out. 
chase here by Dennis Allen. It gets intercepted by Jimmy Deenan, but it comes back to Coleman O'Rourke. Coleman's pass. That's into the hands of Dennis Allen, the captain who's playing centre half forward today. Full forward, Declan Barron has his shot, but it's blocked by the full back, John O'Keefe. And it's a free out, a free out. John Maloney is rushing in there, but he wants to have a word with his umpires. John O'Keefe diving on that shot just at about Declan Barron was about to kick for goal. Good interception and a daring dive by O'Keefe. So the free out by Paddy Mahoney, the goalkeeper for Kerry. Knocked down there by Pat McCarthy. The two Kerry men upsetting each other, Paul Lynch and Pat McCarthy. Seamus Collin getting it into Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry Murphy still in possession. Being tackled by Gerald Keefe and Jimmy Barry sends it wide. Number 13, the right corner forward. Had a chance there of putting Cork three points up, but tackled just at the judicious moment when he was about to kick. So Cork starting off just as eagerly as they did in the drawn game. This is Jared Power for Kerry. Their left half back. That was meant for Paddy Lynch, cut off by Sean Murphy, but this one's cut off by Pat McCarty for Kerry. Paul O'Shea. Still Paul O'Shea. And then getting Kerry on the attack, but it's cut off by Tom Green, the centre half back. Todd Lynch intercepts it. And a nice pass to Tim Kennelly. And look at the centre half back running down into Cork territory, still in possession. Centre half back Kennelly to Brendan Lynch, playing right corner forward today. Brendan shot, curling over a large parallelogram. That's Mickey Sullivan, a goal! Oh, Mickey Sullivan gets the breaking ball, runs a few steps and then belts it past Billy Morgan in the Cork goal. And now the cheers for Cork. They're playing five and a half minutes. This is Sean Murphy for Cork. And certainly we look like having a dramatic and exciting game all through the 70 minutes today. Seamus Collin for Cork. And a good attempt it is. Paddy Mahoney is under it, dropping it, but recovers quickly. Declan Barron in there with him, but of course the goalkeeper can't be charged now. This is Kevin Kennedy, the left half back. One number seven to another. Kevin Kennedy still in possession. It's breaking Dave McCarthy. Dennis Allen. And it's a shot, Paddy Mahoney's in control. And then Paddy passing it out to Pat Spillane, the left half back, way back down near the Kerry full back now. And Pat Spillane sending it way out of defence. And it's cut off by Tom Creighton, a very splendid centre half back for Cork. Tom Creighton shot. Knocked down to Dave McCarthy by Declan Barron. Dave McCarthy shot, and that's three points up for a level. Dave McCarthy, the Cork crowd going wild with their delight. That's the man who scored it. Dave McCarthy equalises. Remember, they were level five times two weeks ago, and now they're level after seven minutes of this replay. Four scores so far, three points for Cork, one goal for Kerry, and all but one of those been from play, and that means we've had more scores from play in the first seven minutes of this game than we had in the whole first half two weeks ago. Goalkeeper Paddy Mahoney with the free out for Kerry. That's John Coleman for Cork. Back to Tom Creed. Declan Barron, John O'Keefe, beats both of just beat Jimmy Dean ahead. That's Gerald O'Keefe. 
Dennis O'Driscoll for Cork. Seamus Colin, but left behind. Dave McCarthy doesn't leave it behind, sweeps it up and then kicks. Is it going to go wide and dropping wide? Excellent start to this replay. In sharp contrast to the drawn game when we had so many frees and such petty fouling. But today, excellent football. It's good and tough and hard. Toddy Lynch for Kerry. Intercepted by John Coleman. The interception there by Claude O'Shea for Kerry. Oh, nicely placed for Brendan Lynch. Can he control it? Brendan does. Pass to Mike Shee. Mike Shee shot. And Kerry are leading. Full forward Mike Shee, the only man in the Kerry attack. The full forward is the only man in the Kerry attack playing in the position he held the last day. All the other five forwards have been moved around in a reshuffle. And now number 14, Mike Shee, sending Kerry into the lead again. One goal and one point. Cork three points. Morgan's kick up. Jerkar knocks it down, but he's dropped by Coleman O'Rourke, who runs away on his own. Right half forward, Dennis Long there on his left. Jerkar recovering, chasing back. But the shot into Jimmy Barry Murphy. Can he get around Jimmy Dinahan? Jimmy Barry shot, and they're level again. Scored level for the second time. And they're only playing 10 minutes. Right corner forward, Barry Murphy, scoring Cork's four points. Cork's Father, fourth point Stewart, and Kerry are a the goal team. and one point. Please go back to their post immediately. Thank you. Cody Mahoney's kick out. Well caught by Cod Lynch. And Lynch big foul. Settling it for himself. He'll take the free. Quickly taken to John Egan in the left corner. Nice pass to the right half forward, Dennis Morn. Dennis Morn shot, Brendan Lynch under it and catches it nicely, passed into Pat Spillane. And he's surrounded, but he punched it over his head. And the point. So the left half forward sending Kerry back into the lead. One goal at two points to Cork's four points. And what a start to this replay. Seamus O'Sullivan. This is Seamus call and he misses it, but Sean Murphy is on it for Cork and then he misses it. Recovers well. Pot O'Shea with him. And John Maloney lets it go. Oh, yes, he signals to the umpire to put it up. It's other level again. Sean Murphy, who came on as a sub two weeks ago, retained for this game at left half forward, equalising, and that's the third time they've been level playing 12 minutes. McCarthy there with him. This is Brendan Lynch. But he tried to get that to Mike Shee. He went too far and gone wide. The kick out to Cork. Fairly short, Coleman O'Rourke knocking it down, but it's gone over the line. Be a 
Nine ball for Cork. Seamus O'Sullivan, the right corner back. Kevin Kehlin. Seamus Collin. Seamus has been marked by the centre half back, Tim Kennelly. And Ger O'Keefe, the right corner, is marking Dennis Allen. And that's Dennis Allen there now. Ger O'Keefe along with him. Still Dennis Allen chasing forward. And this is Jimmy Barry Murphy. Oh, Toddy Man, he got you with a brilliant save. Then Dennis Allen punches it over the bar. Dennis Allen, who made a brave run. Jimmy Barry Murphy, shot blocked by Paddy Mahoney. Dennis Allen sending it over the bar and sending Cork into the lead. A clash in the Cork, or in the Kerry goal mode, Paddy Mahoney injured in a collision. receiving attention at two that were injured in that clash they bumped into each other Pony Mahoney and O'Keefe both back on their feet so Pony Mahoney recovered enough to take the kick out Dennis Long for Cork Jimmy Barry Murphy bouncing off his fingers Barry Murphy recovering, being chased by Jimmy Dina. Barry Murphy gets his shot in, Declan Barron gets it. And the shame is calling, and knocks it into the net. What a simple goal! Look at the core crowd, just listen to the core crowd. Just 15 minutes gone, and shame is calling, knocks that one in. So simply, number 15 is the score. Jimmy Barry Murphy delivered the first shot. Declan Barron centered it across as it came across the goal mount. Seamus Collin just got a fist to it and knocked it into the open net. So Cork in the lead by four points. Cork 1-6, Kerry 1-2. That's a free for Kerry. Toddy Lynch, the midfielder. Gets it out to Dave McCarthy. Cork playing with great confidence. Declan Barron, but that goes off his fingers to John O'Keefe, who gets it out to Pod Lynch. Mickey Sullivan, the centre half forward. Brian Murphy chasing back for this one. Mike Sheehy along with him, and the umpire signals it's gone wide off of Mike Sheehy. The man on the right in the hoop jersey. Brian Murphy, the full-back, along with them. Of course, Brian will be playing in another monster final next Sunday in the Hurling final here in Porky Cueve against Limerick. it but has he been fouled John Maloney signals that he has one goal and six points for Cork one goal and two for Kerry that's ten scores in 17 minutes and that's exactly the number of scores we had in 35 minutes of the half two weeks ago this is a free for Cork Dennis Law to take it Fifty-four, fifty-five yards out from the Kerry post, along with the kick. Declan Barron knocking it down. Half got away. Tim Kennelly gets a boot to it, and then it ricochets. Did it go off? Seamus Collin, the umpire signalling a fifty. So obviously it didn't. Ricochet from Tim Kennelly's attempted clearance. The umpire there signalling the fifty. Ready to take it, midfielder Dennis Long. And it's not 
outside Dennis's capabilities to put it over the bar. He's done it so often before with freeze and, in fact, with 50s. It's a little out to the right, about 12, 15 yards in from the right sideline. He's dropping into the large parallel again. Comes to Seamus Collin, to Sean Murphy. And Sean Murphy curling at the last moment, gone wide. Mahoney's kick out. Oh, beautiful catch by Pat McCarthy. Went way up into the air. And he's passed out to Pat Spillan, who switched wings with Dennis Moran. Pat Spillan now over on the right, Dennis Moran on the left. John Egan. This time he gets behind Seamus O'Sullivan. But Coleman O'Rourke is now covering back. Coleman O'Rourke, number 10. And intercepted there by John Coleman. The pass from John Egan. And then John Coleman falls over, free out of defence. Cork very eager, very hungry, and quick into the tackle. So Tom Creedon stealing a foot or two there, about to take the free. Declan Barron knocking it down to Coleman or Oak. Coleman shot, and it's a good point. Three points from number 10, the right half forward, Coleman O'Rourke. And Cork are now leading a goal and seven points. Carry the All Ireland and Munster champions, one goal and two. Tony Manny's kick out, intercepted by Sean Murphy. Pass to John Coleman. John Coleman shot. Knocked down by Declan Barron, but Jimmy Deenahan clearing up there, and then he's tripped, so it must be a free out. Blonde Deenahan taking it himself, very short, to Ger O'Keefe. But into the hands of Kevin Kelly, and the Cork wing half backs have now switched following their opponents. Kevin Kelly's on the right, John Coleman's here on the left. But this is Seamus Collin. Seamus Collin shot, it's gone wide. Seamus picks himself up off the ground. Cork are still leading by those five points. Kick out, coming into the hands of Paddy Lynch for Kerry. Brian Murphy out to cut it off, but it comes to Mickey Sullivan. Getting past John Coleman. Ahead to John Egan. John Egan shot, and John Egan shot, just bouncing wide. So the left corner forward, running back to his position, played right corner the last day, but like four other of the Kerry forwards, switched around today. Mike Sheehy, as I said before, the only one in the same position he had two weeks ago. Out comes to Kevin Kelly, then knocked out of his hands, comes to Mickey Sullivan, and then Mickey, with nobody in there, driving it wide. Sullivan with the bandage on the right thumb. Tom Creedon, number six, for Cork. The kick out from Billy Morgan. Dennis Moore, he's now playing left half forward, but driving into the centre now, gets that to Brendan Lynch and it bounces off Lynch, but he was fouled by Dennis O'Driscoll. A free for Kerry, just beyond the 50-yard line, and Brendan Lynch, the right corner forward, number 13, is going to take it himself. And it is curled wide, Mike Sheehy got a hand to it, full forward, Running back out, but it was a few yards wide. Still five points between them. 23 minutes into the first half. The 
Morgan's kick out. Going to come over the line. Line ball for Kerry. Five for O'Shea to take. In front of him, Sean Murphy. Dennis Moore. Dennis being fouled by Tom Creedon, so free in. Mike Sheehy, the full forward, coming out to take it. Taking the shot now, and that's a good one. That's cutting back Cork's lead. That's two points for Mike Sheehy, number 14. Cork now leading a goal and seven points. Kerry, one goal and three. breaking it back out, nobody under it, Jimmy Deenan coming on it now and then Jimmy quickly clears it away to safety over the sideline, he was glad to get it away, it'll be a line ball for Kerry. So the line ball, or line ball for Cork in fact, line ball to be taken by Dennis Long. surrounded but still getting it away for Kerry Tom Creighton gets a hand to it Dennis Long coming back Mickey Sullivan gets it away for Kerry John Egan under it knocked out of his hand by Seamus O'Sullivan Ger Parr number seven oh, nicely tapped over ahead of John Egan and a good pass beautiful passing by Kerry Mike Sheehy Tim Kennelly out to Ger Parr it is John Maloney and let play go on, so it's a kick out. Kerry kicking it wide. The kick out comes to Kevin Kelly. Dave McCarthy beaten this time by Cody Lynch. Mickey Sullivan. Pat Spillane. Still Pat Spillan in possession. Walking into a position to shoot, and he does that, putting back the lead again. Two points for Pat Spillan. Now there are only three between them. Cork one goal and seven, Kerry one goal and four. And Kerry settling in a little better in the last few minutes. A lot more composed. Billy Morgan with the kick out for Cork. Todd Lynch being fouled by Dave McCarthy, so the free down to carry. Todd to take it himself. To John Egan. Mickey Sullivan. Mickey Sullivan has his shot. And that's a beautiful point from the centre half forward. And now only two points between them, a goal and seven for Cork, a goal and five for Kerry. Billy Morgan's kick out. Dave McCarthy, now he's down to John Coleman. John being robbed by Pat McCarthy and Pat then being fouled. Todd O'Shea, right half back to take it. To the other winger, Ger Parr. Dave McCarthy nicely fielded. Pass to Dennis O'Driscoll. Lynch 
Shaw on his own in the middle of the field for Kerry. That's intercepted by Tom Creed. Peggy Sullivan there with him. Creed gets away. And then it's the hands of Gerald Keefe. Gerald Keefe, number two, the right corner back, but in a reshuffle into the fence. He's following Dennis Allen, that man who kicked it there. But it's cut off by Tim Kennelly, and he's shadowing the left corner forward, Seamus Collin. That's Pat McCarthy, touched it on the ground, so free down for Cork. It'll be about 75 yards out from the Kerry post. It's interesting to note that that's only the 10th free, and we're playing 29 minutes. Dennis Long with it. So the standard of football much higher than it was in the last game. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy for Cork. Barry Murphy with the shot. It's high. Going to drop over the bar. It's gone for a point. Right off the corner of the upright and the bar. That's two for Jimmy Barry Murphy. Going back into his position there, stretching the Cork lead again to three points. That was Cork's first score in ten minutes. Toddy Mahoney kicking out for Kerry. Dennis Bourne for Kerry. Cut off by Dennis Allen. Still centre half forward, Dennis Allen. The pass to Dennis Long. Long cutting inside. Still Dennis Long, but then he's robbed. And he's taken away from him by Pat McCarthy to Todd O'Shea. Todd O'Shea careering away with it. Sean Murphy following, but he gets the pass to Mickey Sullivan. Oh, this is great football in this replay. Mickey Sullivan punting it ahead. Oh, Mike Shee gets a hand to it, but then Seamus O'Sullivan bending it away for Cork. Splendid and exciting football. Over the line, so it's a line ball to Kerry. So less than five minutes left in the first half, so there's great improvement on the first half of the drawn game. The line ball taken. Comes to John Egan. Pass out to Port Lynch, and then Port is dragged down. Collision caught in the sandwich between the two Cork players. And Mike Sheehy, the full forward, to take this free. Carrier three points behind. Now they're only two behind. That's three points for Mike Sheehy. Splendid stuff. It's tough, but it's wholesome. This is Pat Spillane losing it, recovering. Pass to Mike Sheehy. And then Mike drops it and it goes wide, slipping at just the wrong moment. But in the tension and the pace of this game, it's not surprising that the players will make errors. Billy Morgan kicking out. John Coleman. Two minutes to go to half time. Oh, beautiful catch by Paul O'Shea. And then the pass out to Jer Power. And Power way on his own. Taking Kerry on the attack. And then it's knocked out of his hand by Coleman O'Rourke. But John Maloney, the referee, and judging that O'Rourke didn't do it the proper way. So the free to Kerry. Full forward Mike Sheehy coming out to take.
too far to the left and gone wide. A short kick out to Seamus O'Sullivan. Tip Tom Creighton, in fact, and he pushed in the back by Mickey Sullivan. Tom settles the ball for the free himself. The free taken. Dennis Allen goes up and knocks it down to Sean Murphy. And Sean careering away with it. He's got Dave McCarthy in his left, but now he's gone charging away. Sean Murphy in a point. What a vast improvement he's made in the cork attack. It's two points for the left half forward. And now Kerry or Cork are leading three points again. 1-9 to Kerry's 1-6. Just half a minute to half time. It's John Coleman. Remember he switched over to left half back when Pat Spillane and Dennis Bourne switched on the Kerry team. Still John Coleman. Now down in the attack. Then Sending it a little to the left of the post. Paddy Mahoney cuts it off, gets it out to Tim Kennelly, and it's all over. The first half is all over. Cork are leading by three points. One goal and nine points to Kerry's one goal and six points. And remember, two weeks ago, Cork were also leading, that time by two points, but now they're leading by three. So all set for the second half, Dave McCarthy on the left, Cody Lynch there, the ball is thrown in, Dave McCarthy for Cork in possession. To Dennis Allen, the centre half forward. Number two, Ger O'Keefe along with him, still Dennis Allen in possession. The pass to Declan Barron, full forward, still Dennis Allen. And punching after 15 seconds, increasing Cork's lead to four points. They're now one goal and ten points. One goal and six for Kerry from that score from the full forward Declan Barron. So Paddy Mahoney to kick out. A dramatic start there to the second half. But what so far has been an excellent game in sharp contrast to the drawn game. Some excellent hard fast football and very few frees which is a big improvement on two weeks ago. This has been a game to remember so far. Let's hope the second half will be just the same. That's John O'Keefe, the Kerry fullback. That's Pilan. John Coleman, a bit of pushing there. The Corkman penalised, so the free will be taken by Paddy Lynch. Kerry now four points behind. Remember the start of the second half two weeks ago, two points behind. This is Mickey Sullivan. He scored the goal in the first few minutes. Still Mickey Sullivan punching a point there. Now there are three points again between them. Billy Morgan coming out to place the ball for the kick out for Cork. One goal and ten points for Cork, one goal and seven for Kerry. Reed scores level three times in the first 12 minutes of an excellent first half. Pat McCarthy feeling that well. And then putting Kerry on the attack again. John Egan, the left corner forward. Chasing ahead, John Egan, John Coleman along with them. John comes off the crossbar. Knocked away by the fullback Brian Murphy. Dennis O'Driscoll gets a boot to it. This is Pat Spillane for Kerry. Still Pat Spillane. Three Corkmen surrounding him. Blocked by John Coleman. Kevin Kelly taking it up. Pat Spillane appealing for a free, but the referee lets it go ahead. This is Sean Murphy, the left half forward, and breaks away from Paddy Lynch. Still Sean Murphy, or Paddy O'Shea broke away from Paddy O'Shea, covering back, and Paddy Manny getting to it. Well stopped by Manny and cleared out to Ger Power. This has been such a fast game of football. The pace crippling on this warm, dull, heavy day here in Porky Queen. That's John Egan, in trouble but recovering well. Ahead of Paddy Lynch. Lynch getting the pass now, and then a quick pass to Pat Spillane. This is dangerous for Cork. Pat Spillane, and it's goal from Pat Spillane. Billy Morgan gets a hand 
to it with the shot from the left half forward. Hand off of Billy Morgan's hand into the net. That's Milan delighted with himself there. And now they're level again. One goal in ten points for Cork, two goals in seven for Kerry. It's 13 points each, the fourth time they've been level in this replay of the Munster final. This is Tim Kennelly. Jimmy Barry Murphy with them. Still Tim Kennelly in position. And now being forward, so it must be a free out. The centre half back on the ground. John O'Keefe has a look to see that his teammate is okay and Tim gets back on his feet. So full back John O'Keefe and captain of this Kerry team to take the free out. Todd Lynch going up with Dennis Long, but it, Lynch leaves it to Jar Power. Pass to Mickey Sullivan. And a good pass to John Egan, but it's too far. But Egan gets it, gets a hand to it. And then bouncing out of his hands, Billy Morgan comes out, clears it to John Coleman. Pat Spillan, number 12, robbing John Coleman. Pass to John Egan. Mickey Sullivan running in for a good pass. Back to John Egan, but it's gone too far. Dave McCarthy for Cork picking it up. And then sending it way over the other side to Seamus Call in the left corner forward with the Cork forwards not paying much attention to positioning. That's Pat McCarthy putting it on, leaving it then to Jero Keefe. Jero Keefe, the right corner back, but he's been shadowing Dennis Allen, the centre half forward. This is John Egan. John's good shot, but Billy Morgan has it under control. To Dennis Long, or Dennis O'Driscoll. That's the other Dennis, Dennis Allen. Speeding away. Dropping it, recovering it well. Seamus Call. Seamus Call and having a shot, Toddy Man, he's recovering. Crowd loving every minute of this thrilling football. Pat McCarthy, but it's cut off by Dennis Allen. McCarthy has time though to recover it. And then being fouled. Pushed in the back, so the free to carry. And that's one of the few frees we've had so far. We're now playing six minutes in the second half, and after 35 minutes of the first half, far, far fewer frees than we had in the drawn game two weeks ago. All round, in fact. Much more memorable day. The crowd control splendidly ordered here in contrast to the indiscipline two weeks ago. Everything in apple pie shape in Cork O'Keefe. And the game, a great one to match the great occasion. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy for Cork. Barry Murphy shot, but Cody Mahoney's there on his own. Declan Barron's there with him now. Tim Kennelly. Nelly clearing it away for Perry. It's Tom Creed. And then he's been fouled by Mickey Sullivan. 15 there is John Egan. That's the man who was fouled, Tom Creed, and he's going to take the free himself. Good long free from Creed. Knocked down there by Todd Lynch. Pat McCarthy, John Egan, but bouncing unluckily off his foot, so it'll be a line ball to Cork. Seamus O'Sullivan, the right corner back to take, just stepping out of picture, back in picture now to take the line ball. Jerk power for Perry. Cleverly turning away there to get room for himself to get in the shot. Lynch. And a free to Kerry. Kerry much happier at midfield today. Pod Lynch having one of his best games for a long while. It's Brendan Lynch. Brother to brother, and Brendan is fouled. Taken by the full forward Mike Sheehy. He's the only forward in the same position that he was in in the drawn game. 
is about 45 yards out. It's curling to the left and it's gone wide. Well. Still the scores are level. Cork a goal and 10 points, Kerry two goals and seven. Cork and Cueve absolutely packed, chocked full here for the replay. In fact, I'm told that some people were locked out and saw the first half on one of our monitors in the outside broadcast band, but they've been let in during half time. This is Tim Kennedy. The other centre half back, Tom Creedon, being fouled by Mickey Sullivan. Free down for Cork. John Maloney has a word with Mickey Sullivan. But nothing serious. And the temper and the attitude of this game. A vast improvement on the drawn game, and some of the credit for that must go to John Maloney, as well as, of course, the greater share of the praise and credit to the two splendid teams we have in the replay. This is the sort of football we knew they could play and we expected two weeks ago and they're showing us just what they can do today. Dennis Allen for Cork. Dave McCarthy. Dave McCarthy shot. Not done by Declan Barron. And Barron getting possession well but then kicking it wide. A short kick out comes to Jimmy Barry Murphy. He must score. Yes, he does. What a disaster for Kerry. What a disaster. The goalkeeper, Paddy Man, he disgusted with himself. And the court crowd reacting with ecstasy. Paddy Man, taking a short kick out from the small square. Meant to kick it short to Jimmy Deenan, but Jimmy Barry Murphy sidestepped into the path of the kick out and then had no bother in planting it in the corner of the net and here come Cork again Sean Murphy Sean Murphy with a kick and now they're four points ahead Cork two goals and 11 points Kerry two goals and seven What a terrible misfortune for such a splendid goalkeeper who had such a great year in last year's championship that he should have kicked that short kick out into the path of Jimmy Barry Murphy. Here come Cork again. Seamus Collin to Jimmy Barry Murphy, the scorer of that goal. And Jimmy Barry being caught in a sandwich between Jack Power and Jimmy Dean and the free in. Sean Murphy will take. The left half forward with the free that's about 45 yards out. And it's a great kick, left footed from 45 yards out. And that's the fourth point by Murphy. Sean Murphy, the two of Murphy's in the corkage. Well well, now they're five points ahead. Challengers Cork, two goals and 12 points. The champions carry two goals and seven. Tony is in somewhat distress, so I would ask Neil if he needs to go to the St. John's Ambulance Show, where he can collect Tony. Kick out from Cody Manning. Dave McCarthy beautifully through it. And Dave McCarthy careering away on the right. Shot from McCarthy. Equally splendidly fielded by John O'Keefe, who clears it away for Kerry. Dennis Moran for Kerry. Dennis being fouled by Sean Murphy, a free up to Kerry. Tim Kinetic coming at it quickly. Tom Creedon, what a brilliant centre half back he is, both today and in the drawing game. Jimmy Barry Murphy nicely caught and then gets round Jimmy Deenan. Barry Murphy point. Pleased with himself, the right corner forward. He 
He's just put Cork six clear points ahead. Two goals and 13 points. Two goals and seven for Kerry. So ten minutes gone in the second half and Cork have gone six points clear. Here they come again. Sean Murphy, but that's gone over the line. Line ball to Cork. Dennis Long, number eight. He'll take it. He wants the flag out of the way. Where the flag was, you can just see the line there, the 14 yards line, so he's about 16 yards out on the sideline. Oh, what an absolutely brilliant point from a very difficult angle, right on the sideline with that sideline kick, 16 yards from the end line. Dennis Long with that point from the line ball, putting Cork seven points clear. Dave McCarthy owning the middle of the field in the second half. That's John O'Keefe. John Spears. Tom Creed bounces to Pat Spillane. And then Pat, full of determination and eagerness, Cut off by Brian Murphy, comes to Tom Creedon. Pat Spillane tackling him there and pressurising him and it's gone over the line. Well harried he was by Spillane. Forced to kick it over the line and Pat Spillane taking the line ball himself to John Egan. Mickey Sullivan. Dennis Moore. Way stop. By shot, Seamus O'Sullivan, the free in to Kerry. Mike Sheehy, the full forward, coming out to take it. That's the angle the full forward has. John Maloney wants it brought further in. Obviously, there must have been some descent by one of the Cork players who brings the ball up. And that's a point from Sheehy. The last five scores before that point have all been for Cork. The full forward Mike Sheehy putting back the lead to six points again. This is something which is fun to Cork supporters and we don't want any part of it. Thank you. Billy Morgan preparing to kick out. Nicely fielded by Pat McCarthy. Pass to Ger Power to Mickey Sullivan. Toddy Lynch. Into the path of Todd O'Shea. And then Todd looked caught the feeling that he touched it on the ground, but he didn't. This is Mike Shee, the full forward. He's surrounded by red jerseys. And then it's taken away from him by Dennis Long. Jer Power having his jersey pulled there, but no call by the road being penalised. I don't know why he's descending with that because there's no doubt he half pulled the jersey off of Jer Power. So not only penalised, but penalised further by the ball being brought up the extra 14 yards. So Cody Lynch with the free. Knocked down by Tom Green. This is Pat Spillane. Well, that was meant for Brendan Lynch, but it missed Brendan and it comes to Dave McCarthy. Dave clearing it out. But the other McCarthy, the other midfielder, and then he's been fouled by Dennis Allen. And two more goals, so Dennis Allen is having his name taken. He committed the first offence, then he had his jersey pulled. McCarty takes the free, knocked down by Dennis Allen, but that's Gerald Keefe and he plays the ball. Gerald disgusted with himself. So 
There's still six points between them. Cork 2-14, Kerry 2-8. And a good pass to Dennis Moore, and then his jersey pulled by Kevin Kelly, and it's a pity that that should happen. In the last five minutes, we'd have had a bit of niggling fouling, and the game so far was so devoid of that in contrast to the last day. And it's an awful pity it should come back into the replay. Mike Sheehy, that's the way the fouling is penalised. Now five points between them. The last two for Kerry, scored by Mike Sheehy from freeze. It was such a noteworthy game up to the last five minutes, such a splendid contrast to the drawn game, and it would be such a shame if we had too many of these petty fouls. They played splendid football right through the first half and for most of the second half so far. And that's one of the men who's been playing so well for Kerry, Pat Spillard, but running into trouble there. And then being penalised, John Maloney is judging that he touched the ball on the ground. Relief for Cork as Tom Creedon settles the ball for a three. Twenty minutes gone in the second half. The free from centre half back Creedon. Comes to Ger Paul. And Ger being fouled by Coleman O'Rourke. And Coleman O'Rourke again wants to know what it's for. Pat Spillan. He's been penalised for an incorrect hand pass, and Pat is not very pleased with the decision. But John Maloney on top of the game. Tom Creighton again with the free. to Toddy Lynch and John Maloney penalised him for barging with the ball Dennis Long will take the free right on the 50 yard line that's the angle although in fact it's no angle because he's right in front of the centre spot of the crossbar Dennis Long 50 yards out he's gone to the left and it's knocked over by Declan Barron So Declan Barron finishing over that free from Dennis Long, putting Cork six points in the lead again. 21 and a half minutes into the second half. Pat Spillan, but that knocks, falls out of his hands into the hands of Coleman O'Rourke, who's been fouled by Jared Parr. Free into Cork. This is about 55 yards out. And Dennis Long to take it again. now about 53 yards up. The right angle. Hurling to the left. Dennis Allen with it. And then it's taken out of his hands by Pod O'Shea. Pat McCarthy and then he leaves it behind him. Coleman O'Rourke. Coleman shot, gone wide. Mahoney with the kick up. Pat McCarthy. Seamus O'Sullivan into the hands of Ger Power for Kerry. Pass to Paddy Lynch. Out to the left to Pat Spillan. John Coleman takes him down with a rugby tackle. Referee John Maloney is going to have a word with Coleman for that. Mike Sheehy with the free. 21 yards out. And Sheehy is no bother putting it over the bar. That's the sixth one. He scored.
Five points between them again. Cork leading 215 to 210. This time it's Seamus O'Sullivan, the right corner back taking the kick out. Jer Power for Kerry. And his jersey pulled by Dave McCarthy, but John Maloney wisely let him go on, gives him the advantage, but then he stopped with another pull jersey by Tom Creed. John Maloney talking to Creed. Number 16 running in there to John Maloney, the referee to check in is Sean Walsh for Kerry, replacing Brendan Lynch. That was a point by Mike Sheehy from the free for the foul on Ger Power. Now there are only four points between them, and they're playing 24 minutes in the second half. In fact, it's Mickey Sullivan who's going off, not Brendan Lynch. Mickey Sullivan replaced by Sean Walsh. John Colwell. The pass to Dennis Allen. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy. Sean Murphy for Cole. Sean Murphy with the shot, and the point from the left hand forward. Now five between them again. 2.16 for Cork, 2.11 for Kerry. Just ten minutes left in the second half of this Munster final replay. Sean Wells with his Mickey Sullivan and the Kerry team. Dennis Moran for Kerry. Brendan Lynch. This is Sean Walsh the sub. Mike Sheehan missing that, but it comes to Brendan Lynch. Brendan shot. And it bounces off the upright. That's Kieran Collins who has just come into the Cork defence for Seamus O'Sullivan. is Kieran Collins being fouled by Paulie Lynch to the free out to Cork. Five points between them. And before today, Kerry have won four of the five replayed Munster finals they've been in. They beat Waterford Tipperary and they beat Cork twice. They lost to Cork in 1956 in Killarney. That's Tom Creed. Under pressure. But Brian Murphy recovering it. Number 16 is Sean Walsh. The clearance from Brian Murphy comes to Pod Lynch. Kerry putting on all the pressure now. Ger Power. Dennis Allen. Gerald Keith. Not well, Mr. Tall Brian. Stewart kick that he plays wide. Please go to the Van Temple end with the keys of the gate, please. Thank you. Eight minutes left in the Munster final replay. Cork leading by five points. Todd Lynch for Kerry. To Sean Walsh. And his jersey has been pulled on happily. A little too much jersey pulling crept into the game in the last 10 minutes or so. Mike Sheehy with the free, again punishing the foul by Cork, and that's eight from Sheehy, the full forward. Now four points between them. Seven minutes left. Yeah. Billy Morgan to kick out for Cork. So can Kerry come back? Remember the tradition that they have for fighting back. How can Cork hold on? This is Coleman O'Rourke for Cork. Jimmy Barry Murphy, but he's beaten by Jimmy Dean, and then it's knocked away by Dave McCarthy. 
Cody Lynch. 13, Jimmy Barry Murphy. John Maloney penalising. Penalising uh, Dennis Allen, it would appear. Now he's going to hop it between them. He must have spotted two fouls. So he throws it up between them. Pat McCarthy for Kerry. John Coleman for Cork. John Coleman's drop kick and just going wide. The kick out by Paddy Mahan. He comes to Pat Spillane. Tim Kennelly. This is Sean Murphy. Todd O'Shea for Kerry. Passing it to Mike Sheehy. Mike Sheehy then being pushed at the last moment and it's a free in. It must be a free in. John Maloney giving the free in. Mike Sheehy quickly taken to Sean Walsh and it's off, taken off the line. No, it's over the line, the young part is signaling the flag. It's a goal, yes, it's a goal. Taken off the line by Brian Murphy, but the umpire is quickly in and raises the flag. So now there's only a point between them. Sean Walsh, the man Kerry brought in as a sub just six minutes ago. Declan Barron. This is Paddy Lynch. He's gone in to play full-back. John O'Keefe is out at midfield. This is Ger O'Keefe. John Coleman and then being fouled. Three out and then John Coleman. Being over roughly tackled. And requiring attention. Unfortunately, a bit of needle creeping into the game in the last 15 minutes or so, and it was such a marvellous exhibition of great football up to then. John Coleman in distress there, being attended by the John's ambulance people, Donny O'Donovan, the court trainer in Britain. That's Declan Barron being fouled. John O'Keefe gone back in again. Declan Barron, in fact, has come out. And Dave McCarthy's gone in to play full forward to Mark Todd Lynch who is playing full back for Kerry now and John O'Keefe is out in the middle of the field but it's Sean Murphy with the free Sean Murphy Consult the two umpires. Wants to know what happened. No, it's been disallowed. Some forward was in the square before that free came in from Sean Murphy. So that goal disallowed. This is Pat McCarthy. This is Sean Walsh. And it's taken away from about 10 feet. Cleared out. John O'Keefe for Kerry. And that's Mike Sheehy. So two minutes left in the game. So still Cork ahead, two goals and 16 points to 2-12. The 
goal that we thought it was a goal not being given when Sean Walsh, the man who's running onto it there, but it's a free out now. The goal that was taken off the line by Brian Murphy and the umpire putting up the flag. It appeared to be a goal, but in fact, wasn't allowed. So, four points between them. Billy Morgan with the free out. Whistles all round the ground, but according to our stopwatch, there's a little over a minute to go. Perry on the attack again. That's John Coleman stopping the attack. Declan Barron. Jer Power. Pats Balan. Pats Balan putting it over the bar. So now it's just coming up to the last few minutes. And this is Mike Cheever, Kerry. And it's all over, it's all over. It's all over, and there is just some confusion. Some people think that it's... Le it, some people think that the scores are level. But some others think that... I can't, I would ask the players to see you in their one moment, please. Please stay in your seats for one by moment. Four, by two points. While we check on the score. That goal, in Thank some you. doubt, the one that Brian Murphy took off the line. So it's level and it looks like extra time. That scoreboard isn't right. 2.16 to 2.14. Extra time has been played, so the correct score is three goals and 13 points for Kerry. Two goals and 16 points for Cork. So extra time about to be played in this Munster final. Please stay in your seats. Please cooperate and stay in your seats, please. Appeals from the public address. For the crowd to stay in their seats, extra time must be played, of course, when it's level the second time. So the crowd's remaining on for the extra time that's needed. The side's level here. Cork, two goals and 16 points. Kerry, three goals and 13. So the scoreboard corrected, and that's the score as we start 15 minutes each way of extra time. Cork, three goals and... Or Cork, two goals and 16 points. Kerry, three goals and 13 points. 22 points each. They were level five times in the 70 minutes of this replay, and they were a level five times in the 70 minutes two weeks ago in the draw. But John Maloney, in the middle of the field, are about to start the first half of extra time. They'll play 15 minutes each way. Johnny O'Donovan, the Cork trainer, out to report two substitutions for Cork. John Coleman has gone off the defence and Seamus O'Sullivan, who went off just before the end of normal time, has come in to replace him. And Billy Field, number 20, has come in to the attack instead of Coleman O'Rourke. So the scoreboard haven't been corrected. There's the correct score as we start into extra time. Cork 216, Kerry 313. And straight away, it's Todd Lynch for Kerry. Brian Murphy. It's Kieran Collins. This is Pat McCarthy. Very much happier today, all through the replay than they were a fortnight ago at midfield. Brendan Lynch with the shot. Sean Walsh, who came on in the second half of normal time. And Sean Walsh putting Perry into the lead.
So Billy Morgan to kick out. Sean Walsh having put Kerry into the lead in the first half minute of extra time. This is Dennis Moran for Kerry. Dennis carrying it too far, being penalised. Three down to court. Tom Creed in the centre half back to take. Hustling with Declan Barron, the referee warning the free to call. Now he's going to hop the ball, in fact. It looked as if he had to signalled in. So he throws it up between them. John O'Keefe taking it out of the air, but John Maloney signalling in the free in for a call. So who'll take this one? Billy Field, the sub who's come on for extra time, number 20 to take it. A great chance to put Cork level. And it comes off the upright into the hands of Jer Power for Perry. Jer clearing it away quickly. Tom Green being fouled, quickly taking the free. Billy Field, Jimmy Dean ahead with him. That's Pat McCarthy. John Egan. And John Egan getting the kick ahead. Beat Sean Watts. Doesn't beat Dennis O'Driscoll. Dennis in trouble now. Sean Walsh takes it off and then has his jersey pulled. John Maloney plays the advantage rule. And then Sean Walsh is fouled a second time and he gets the free. the free and that's the ninth from the full forward to carry two vital points ahead three goals and 15 points two goals and 16 for Cork and that's 24 to 22 this is Kerry again that's Spillane. Spillane's kick, but then he blazes it wide. <laughs> He's so dissatisfied with himself. Pat, who's played his heart out all through this game. And it, no, it's gone wide. The umpire's signaling wide. Billy Morgan's kick up. Todd Lynch knocks it down. John Egan penalised for touching it on the ground. Free taken by Kieran Collins to Dave McCarthy. It's John O'Keefe. Now back at fullback. The last few minutes of normal time he moved out to midfield. This is Pat McCarthy. Cork not at all as much in control at midfield as they were in the drawn game. One of the men who made sure they weren't was that man Pat McCarthy. That's knocked over the bar by John Egan. So John Egan getting his fist to that one from the delivery from Pat McCarthy. Now putting Kerry three points ahead. Dennis Moore 
Kerry taking all their chances. Dennis Morgan, Morgan charging through. Billy Morgan stops that one. Kerry certainly in command in the early minutes of extra time. Dennis Allen for Cork. Ger Parr Harry. Allen gets his kick in. Dennis Long feels it well. And recovers. Seamus Coleman pushed in the back so freely. John Maloney, the man in the all black, giving the free to Cork. Just on the 50 yard line. Number 11, Dennis Allen, the centre half forward and the Cork captain. He passes the ball and leaves it to Dennis Long. Takes his time. Good long run up to it. And it's curling to the left. Declan Barron gets up to it, but it's knocked away by John O'Keefe. This is Billy Field for Cork. And Billy sends it over the bar, putting back the lead to two points. Three sixteen for Kerry, two seventeen for Cork. That's twenty-three to 25, or the other way around, 25 for Kerry, 23 for Cork. Cody Mahoney's kick out. Mike Sheehan. Way out from full forward. And that ahead to John Egan, who switched places with Pat Spillane. And then he passes it to Spillane, who's gone back to his more accustomed left corner. Tom Creedon with them and then stopping him very deliberately so the free into Kerry. And Mike Sheehy to take. He scored nine already for Kerry. That's the angle he has, a little to the left, but it's within easy reach for Mike. That's the tenth point for the full forward. Kerry gone a goal clear again. Three points, 317 to 217. gone in the first half of extra time. Dennis Long being told to move back by John Maloney. Free about 53 yards out. Dennis Long's kick is a good one. Going to drop into small square and Declan Barron gets it off the post. Seamus Collins, shot block. Claudio O'Shea takes it away out of the fence for Kerry. 
Dennis Long, right through his fingers. This is John Egan. This is Sean Walsh, who's now playing full forward. Mike Sheehy's out centre half forward. Ahead to Brendan Lynch. Brendan gets it. Brendan Lynch is shot, and it's right across the face of the goal and gone wide. Let off there for Cork. The goal at that stage of extra time with 11 minutes gone in the first half of extra time would have virtually wrapped it up for Kerry. They're leading by three points. Dave McCarthy had been awarded a free. He was tripped. Taken by Dennis Long. Sean Murphy. Dennis Allen for Cork. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy. Oh, he plays it wide. It was he tackled. He was tackled by Ger O'Keefe, and John Maloney wants to talk to the umpires. Is it in the square? Is it a penalty? No, it's a kick out. It wasn't a free. John Maloney consulted the umpire. It wasn't a foul, so it's a kick out. A relief for Paddy Mahoney. Short kick out to Gerald Keith. Paddy Lynch. It's gone the wrong way for Paddy. This is Billy Field. Getting it to Jimmy Barry Murphy and he gets a push in the back from Gerald Keith, so it's a free in. Twenty-five yards out. Typical right angle. Sean Murphy's coming over to take it. No change of kicker Billy Field, in fact, coming in. So Billy Field with the kick now. Up to the left. And gone by. The chances as we come up two minutes to the half time in extra time. One goal between them, Kerry 317, Cork 217. Cody Mahoney with a kick out for Kerry. Pat McCarthy brilliantly feeling that. And then getting himself out of danger. John Egan. Shot from Johnny. And Sean Welch knocks it over the bar, gets a fist to it. That's a goal and two points by Sean Walsh, who came on as a sub in the second half of normal time. And Kerry now four points ahead. Champions splendidly coming back. Pat McCarthy having a brilliant game at midfield. The pass went astray from Sean Walsh. Tom Creedon for Cork. This is Sean Murphy for Cork. Todd O'Shea tries to stop. Murphy still in possession. Todd O'Shea blocks the inter intercepts the kick. Then gets it out to Cody Lynch. That's the end of the first half of extra time. Perry leading by four points, three goals and 18 to two goals and 17. So all set for the second half of extra time. Kerry leading by four points. Coleman O'Rourke there, the second Cork man behind, back on the field. Seamus Coleman gone off at half time 
in extra time. Coleman O'Rourke went off at the start of extra time. John Maloney starts, so we have 15 minutes to go. This marvellously entertaining Munster final replay. Coleman O'Rourke sets Cork on the attack. This is Dave McCarthy. O'Rourke is now playing at midfield beside McCarthy. Dennis Long gone into the attack, but that one has gone wide. Kerry so much in control in the first half of extra time. And Cork pull back. They're four points behind. Fadi Mahani kicks out. What a splendid monster final it's been. This is Dennis Long. Dennis Allen's pass going astray. John O'Keefe. In control, getting it to Tim Kennelly. Brendan Lynch for Kerry. Charging away down the wing. Dennis O'Driscoll catching up fast. But still Brendan Lynch in possession. Brendan's kick ballooned a little to the left. And a free out. Podoshe penalised. Billy Morgan's kick out blocked, but it comes to Brian Murphy. And then Brian is fouled. Free out to call. Seamus Assault. The right corner back. Mike Sheehy gives it to Pat Spillan. Back to Mike Sheehy. Sheehy shot from a difficult left angle and it's gone wide. Billy Morgan settles it for the kick out. Kerry still leading, 318 to 217, that's 27 to 23. This is Kevin Kelly, handled it on the ground and is penalised by John Maloney as he tries to stop it. Kevin tried to stop it going over the line. Dennis Moore, number 10. Not happy with the way the ball is settled. That section of the ground was resodded during the week after flooding in the past two weeks. Dave McCarthy, but he lets it run through and it comes to Pat Spillan. Pat shot gone wide. And the court crowd trying to rouse their team. They're four points behind. They played so well for so much of this match, but Kerry now in control. Billy Morgan, not happy with the way Sean Walsh is so near him, takes it the second time. Pat McCarthy, what a marvellous second half he's had, and extra time as well. He's been so much in control at midfield, made such a difference to Kerry. This is Mike Sheehy. That must be a free. John Maloney has blown for a free. Foul on the man on the ground, Mike Sheehy. He recovered. 14 yards free. That's the angle he's got, way over to the left. Mike has scored 10 of Kerry's points so far. And that's a beautiful one. What a splendid free. A great point from a very difficult left angle by Mike Sheehy. That's 11 points for the full forward. Kerry now five ahead. The players must be exhausted at this stage. They've now been playing 80 minutes of football here today in this replay. And Pat McCarthy, no signs of tiredness from Pat. 
Brian Murphy knocks it away. And then he's tripped in a free out to Cork. Ten minutes to go. The replay of the Munster football final. And Kerry's marvellous replay record. They won four of the five Munster final replays that they've been involved in, but of course they've won so many other replays in Championship and National League. This is Todd Lynch, Rob, but his brother Brendan gets it away. John Egan comes back to Brendan Lynch. Kerry completely in command. Brendan Lynch has a shot, but he's kicked it too far to the left. But Whites at this stage are just as good at points for Kerry, who are leading by five points, 28 to 23. There are the, the totals. Billy Morgan's kick out. Pat McCarthy again. To Mike Sheehy, the full forward. Mike works himself into position, has a shot, but it goes to the right and gone wide. Sheehy now playing centre half forward. Sean Walsh is full forward. Todd Lynch, Dennis O'Driscoll for Cork. Went for Coleman O'Rourke, but it comes to Dave McCarthy. Being chased by Pat Spillane. Dave McCarthy shot. Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry Murphy shot. Toddy Manny gets down to it. This is Declan Barron. Declan Barron shot over the bar at point. Brilliant save by Paddy Manny when he stopped Jimmy Barney Murphy's shot. Here's the man who saved, prevented the court goal, and a great relief to Kerry supporters at first. Now four points between them. by Declan Barron. John Maloney wants it brought forward, so Cody Lynch will take it. John Maloney spotting an infringement. On a Cork defender, so the free out. Billy Morgan settles into the corner of the small square. Just seven minutes to go. Kevin Kelly, but it's knocked away from by Brendan or by Paddy Lynch to Dennis Morn. Dennis Morn recovers it when it's taken away from Sean Walsh, and that's the point. That's one goal and three points from Sean Walsh, the sub who came in in the second half of normal time. Now five points in front, Kerry are again. Three out to court. Seamus O'Sullivan, the right corner back. And he's tackled from both sides. And then a free is given against him. Oh, I don't think John Maloney a little bit harsh there. Pat McCarthy was hit from both sides. The free to be taken by Coleman O'Rourke. And then coming quickly away out of defence, taking carry, carry over on the attack. Foul, but John Maloney gives him the advantage. Third power shot is going to go to the left, and it's gone wide. Not gone wide, Billy Morgan, in fact, prevents it from going wide, gets it out to Seamus O'Sullivan.
That's a free into Cork. Sean Murphy going out to take him. Very close to the sideline. Only five minutes left. Dennis Long in trouble with an injury. Dennis Long receiving assistance from Tony O'Donnell in the court show. Not surprising if players cramped at this stage. It must be so tight. Body wins. And he gets the three. Three out to carry. with the free Brendan Lynch look how he's still able to run after all the football has been played today fouled by Dennis O'Driscoll Jimmy Dean in to take the free remember they've been playing over 95 minutes now this is Kevin Kelly Still splendid football. It's been Kevin Kelly coming his way past Dennis Moore. And going over the line, that'll be a line ball. Declan Barron is the corkman. John O'Keefe the carryman. Dennis Long to take the line ball. Away by John O'Keefe. To Tim Kennelly. Dennis O'Driscoll. Dennis Allen for Cork. Jimmy Barry Murphy gets it out to Kevin Kelly, and he's fouled by Pat McCarr. Change of mind by Kevin Kelly, so he leaves the free. To Coleman O'Rourke. Point from Coleman O'Rourke. Putting back Kerry's lead to four points. 320 to 219. That's 29 to 25. And just two minutes of extra time remaining. Kerry four points ahead. The winners to play Derry in two weeks in the All-Ireland semi-final. Derry who've won up in the north in extra time again. Second extra time we've had today. Sean Walsh. Nicely back heel, but then Brian Murphy takes it up for court to Dave McCarthy. Jimmy Dean ahead. Feeling it well for Kerry. This is Mike Sheehy. Kerry so much on top, all through extra time. Paul O'Shea being tumbled. John Maloney gives him the advantage. 17 is Kieran Murphy for Cork. 21 is Colin Murphy for Cork. Less than a minute left. This is Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Dean and on the ground, Jimmy Barry Murphy with him. John Maloney gives the free against him. He was given Jimmy Dean and the advantage. And then Jimmy was waiting for the whistle, so it's the free against him. Dennis Long with the free for Cork. Knocked out by John O'Keefe to Port O'Shea. Port gets it to Tim Kennelly and a free out. A free quickly taken to Pat McCarthy. John Egan, Sean Walsh, pass meant for Mike Sheehy but it's too far away and Billy Morgan intercepts, to Kevin Kelly, just seconds remaining, and Kerry's monster title is safe, this is Colin Murphy for Cork and he's been followed by
Cody Lynch. The free quickly taken to Dennis Allen. Cut off by Jimmy Dean and a free in, a free in. Dennis Allen being fouled by Jar Power. The free being given from where the ball landed. Seconds over the 15 minutes of the second half of extra time. And who's going to take it for Cole? Cole Manoro. Remember, they're four points behind that just haven't got time. Cole Manoro short to Declan Barron. Declan Barron shot. And it's all over. It's all over. Kerry are still the monster champions. So Kerry are still the monster champions. They congratulate each other. The splendid two teams who gave us an absolutely marvellous match and then splendid football again in extra time. And what great credit to the two sides. A vast improvement on the drawn game. Look, Kerry winning by three goals and 20 points to Cork's two goals and 19 points. The All Ireland champions maintaining their replay record in splendid fashion. A superb display by the champions in extra time. And now they go forward to meet Derry, the Ulster champions, who also defended their provincial title in extra time. And that match will be in Croke Park on August the 8th in two weeks.